The following program was produced or sponsored by a community member. The content, views, and opinions expressed are the sole responsibility of the producer and do not reflect those of Malden Access Television, the City of Malden, or your cable provider. MATV welcomes your comments. Please call us at 781-321-6400 or email us at access at matv.org. So you're going to have to pretty much look at the, that type of stuff. And welcome to Malden Neighborhood Basketball Action. Jim Foley along with City Council President Gary Christensen as we tip off the Hawks and the Sonics. Welcome aboard. Thanks, Jim. Good to be back. Well, as we get underway with the Sonics and the Hawks, we see this is a solid playoff potential matchup as we have the second-seeded Sox against the third-seeded Hawks. Excuse me, second-seeded Sonics against the third-seeded Hawks as we get the first two points there. Yep, Sonics look good right away. We see Borgella from the baseline, jump shot, no good. Sonics transition. Hooper, no call there. Sonics get the offensive board. Hooper gets a second chance and converts this time around. Yeah, he means business today, Hooper. This kid averages about 11 points a game. You see the long-armed Israel at the top of the key. McMillan fakes the three. Borgello driving to the basket, no good. Lead pass, too far, out of bounds. But if you notice, another good hustle play on, on the Sonics. They've really come out here strong at the beginning of the game. McMillan running the point. We saw Morose run on the point more last game. Looks like McMillan's going to take it to start right here. Turnover, Sonics ball. 4 nothing Sonics at the early going. A couple minutes into the first quarter. The Speedy Leaston, probably one of the quickest players in this league. Turnover there. So after back-to-back -back turnovers, the Hawks will get a chance to get their first points of the game. Finally go underneath. Quick turnaround jumper by Jean Baptiste. No good. Clean up. There you go. Very nice putback. O'Brien, baseline jumper. Rebound to Jean Baptiste. And there's a foul on the shot. Yeah, looks like the Hornets are starting to find their legs here in the early going. So Borgello will get to the free throw line. And as we get our first stoppage of play here, we're looking back and forth, back and forth, and we see the beautiful paint in front of us. <laughs> I mean, talk about what happened this offseason. Well, actually, credit the uh, Fairway School Council. They've uh, really pushed the school's agenda in terms of trying to get some repairs made, and this is one they've been after for a couple of years. And lo and behold, uh, Steve Melanson of the building department worked with his staff, and they got it wow. done over the holiday break. Really looks nice. He converts both free throws. We're tied back up at four points. It matches the Sonics colors. <laughs> Very true. Maybe they'll have the advantage here today just because of that. They have had a pretty strong season. Hey, cut that off, Dave. Leaston, skip pass to Hooper. Drive to the left hand. Good game. Good game. Really been impressed, impressed with Hooper so far. He does like to get his shots. Israel came down with the rebound, but he went to the floor and... O'Brien reached in and they'll get a jump ball. Well, you can't get your own tip, <laughs> so it'll be Hawks ball.
Tied at four apiece. About five and a half minutes left in this first quarter here. McMillan, pass intercepted. There you go. Here he is directing traffic. Good luck, try to go underneath to Legentis. Just a little too hot of a pass. It was off Hawks player, so Sonics will keep the ball. Good fake. Look underneath. Jump shot goes. I always try That's to O'Brien. First couple minutes here. And it's something about the Sonics today. They really look like they want this game. But you said the winner is just for seeding purposes, really? Well, Both you have teams. about four games left in the season, so they're, they're getting down to the wire as McMillan hits the jump, as the floater right there. And they're in second and third place. The top, I'd say, four to five teams are pretty much set. Six through eight really don't really have a shot to get into the playoffs. So I'd say between two and three, these guys pretty much are set in the playoffs. It's just between seeds four and five to really determine who gets that last seed. It's pretty much between the Pistons and the Celtics, excuse me, the Bullets and the Pistons. Because the Sonics are seven and two, Hawks are seven and three, and the Pistons in fifth place are three and six. So there's really no chance for them to fall behind the Pistons right now. Very distressed that nowhere in your remarks did you mention the Celtics. Yeah, with this with this My type of league, team. yep, and we'll, we'll get to them next game, but with this type of league, you know, players have such a short time span that it's tough to keep a consistency going. Sure. Them and the Kings have had such a drop-off because they've lost a lot of their top players. Great over the back tip by Leafson to save the ball for his team. And Hooper will try to convert on the second chance, and he does, giving his team an 8-6 to six lead. Three like minutes left in the first. The game so far. <laughs> Hooper is everywhere. Boards, passes, scores. Orellis with the jump shot. Ties it back up at 8 apiece. Hooper, and there's a foul under the basket. Nearly stolen away. Awkward shot. They get the offense rebound. And Dave Israel. Oh, what a pass. That was a great look underneath to find O'Brien. Nice bounce pass. He was able to see the ball the whole time. Quick Beautiful. put up off the backboard and he ties it back up at 10. Stolen away by Hooper. Fouled by McMillan. Keeps this up. He'll be on Actually, the they'll, they'll, the rim show. they will call the foul on Borgella instead. Both the guys were around him. Now, Hooper always follows his shot. He always tries to get his own rebound while he's shooting it, which is the reason why he doesn't have the highest uh, percentage of his shots that actually go in. Because he's always looking to clean up his own shot because he expects to miss it. He needs to stay still with his shot and just shoot it regular. I was wondering when that ref was going to call that travel call. <laughs> the Hawks coaches might have. It's st still a close game as we're at 10 apiece. About a minute left in this first quarter.
Quick turnaround shot by Aurelis. No good. Now, Jim, does this score surprise you? This low score? Well, there really is no type of scoring in this league. You can have as high as 80 points, as low as 30 points in a game. Yeah. So at this pace, we're, we're looking at about, you know, 45 apiece, and that's, that's really not too, too much yeah. lower than average. Yeah. It's not for lack of shots, it just bouncing off the limb. You're getting the shots off. Right, and a lot of teams do get second chance points. That's one thing that if a team is great in this league, then they'll know how to defensive rebound because... A lot of teams in this league allow second chance points to the teams they're playing. Great shot there by Borgella. Borgella, he's one of the most athletic players on this Hawks team. Underneath by O'Brien. That'll end the first quarter with the Sonics, a two-point lead. It's 14 to 12. And as we finish this first quarter, we can uh, maybe just start to discuss a couple things going on in the city of Malden. And I guess relating to these kids here, a lot of these kids go to the high school in Malden, and they're starting to think of bringing the city hall over. <laughs> yeah, we've been meeting on that regularly for the past couple of weeks, and we hope to have a recommendation to the mayor. Uh, probably within 30 days and the two ideas that are really floating around is whether to move City Hall down to the high school or simply renovate the high school as it is so it's about uh, 70 80 million dollars involved and where's this money going to come from uh, a majority of it will come from the uh, state's school building assistance authority which is charged with helping to renovate schools across the Commonwealth and each city and town is reimbursed a certain percentage depending on a formula. So right now we're looking at being reimbursed 90% on the dollar. So which is, you know, a great situation for us. It's just a question of what direction do we want to go. Right, and when do they plan to have that decision made? I think within the next 30, 60 days, I think we're hoping to, you know, get on the same page with the mayor and move forward on something that could start as soon as possible. All right, and we'll start the second quarter here with the Sonics up by two points. It's 14 to 12. McMillan will remain at the point. the Hawks Morose is fresh into the game we saw him running the one last weekend at least in transition Jim, ever seen this many jump balls? I don't remember seeing them. it is pretty uh, common in this league yeah they'll call a lot in college ball too yeah you never see it in the NBA They just tried to avoid the, the scrum as quick as possible. As soon as they see the guys fighting for the ball, they'll just call a quick jump ball. They don't want to see anybody get hurt. He threw that about 90 miles an hour. I was going to say, nice idea, but a little fast. But I think we're looking at two scrappy teams there. Trying to get every point possible to uh, get a win. McMillan fakes it, takes it, makes it. Nice shot. Nice stroke there. It's tied at 14. Here we have Leaston getting a little fancy. Maybe too fancy. It does go out of bounds, so he gets saved there. Hooper to inbound. Quick jump shot by O'Brien. Great luck. They'll give him all three of those. The Sonics, they like to do some fast break. As you can see there, they had the numbers and they hustled. So with the miss layup, they did have one guy to clean it up. Again, they still have that eye of the tiger from the beginning of the game. The Sonics are playing hot. 
1914 Sonics. Morose. Super again. Super take, take any time off. Play every <laughs> minute of the game so far. Seems to, yes. However, every player on every team will get at least five minutes of playing time every game. The beauty of the league. Here come the Hawks, down by five. Sonics are starting to pull away, unless the Hawks do something about it right here on this possession. Quick turnaround by Israel, no good. Over the back. Lost it out of bounds. Now I have Borgella at the point. Nearly stolen away. Israel, baseline, up and under. Great look. It could be on the highlight reel. Shot. <laughs> yes, it was. 1916 Sonics. O'Brien. It's stolen away by McMillan. Fake the pass. Maybe should have made it there. He was looking for the file instead and didn't get it. Hooper, left hand hook shot off the glass. Twenty one sixteen Sonics. Morose. He's fouled. Looks like the Hawks coach bellowing worked out. They were asking for foul and they got one. There you go. And fresh into the game come double zero Naylor for the Hawks. And for the Sonics, number 14, Lindsley Adam. Hooper gets the miss. What else is no? Great nice. look underneath to Adam, fresh in the game, but his shot was partially blocked. Could have been called a foul, but I think these refs are scared of the Hawks coaches. <laughs> wow. And McMillan, he likes to take it to the basket. Oftentimes he's looking for the foul, so he'll put up an awkward shot with the risk of trying to get that foul call. Lucky for him, it went in there, and that was an up and down. Morose front rims it. Hooper with the rebound. He'll try to take it himself. I had a feeling this was coming, Jim. <laughs> Timeout, Hawks. Timeout plus the technical. Oh, the technical, excuse yeah. me. No timeout, I saw the T. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking timeout. I didn't hear it though, and that's yeah, why. I, I saw that coming. There you go. Kept his mouth going. That was Coach Pinaco Stroud. Picking up the foul, the technical foul, and they'll get a free shot right here. 21-18 Sonics, 3.36 to go in the half. They'll look to extend their lead here. As he converts both technical foul shots, extends his team's lead to 23-18. And that's where it costs you is in the free throw shots. Hey, 
over the back foul. Hawks ball. Still, Sonic's looking good here. They haven't quite pulled away yet. It's still early on. Hawks have their chance. Need to catch fire, get a little bit of a run going. Nice pass. See, they get great looks, but they're just not always able to finish. And that's German, number eight fresh in the game, gets it ahead. Hooper, offensive rebound, left hand. Count it, and the basket, and the foul. Again, it's Hooper. What's his stats for the year? Uh, this... Hooper seemed to have no one else even contesting that as he got two cleanup attempts. Made it a four point play. I think we spoke too soon. We said the Sonics haven't pulled away while well, they're starting now. Looked like a travel right there. He went up and down. No call. Sonics recover anyway as they'll get possession right back with the 27-18 lead, 2.30 remaining in the first half. There's Hooper again. Hooper probably already reached his average in the first half alone. Not only in points, but I think rebounds and assists. <laughs> he might be on the way to a triple-double. Once again, McMillan taking it to the basket. I'm actually glad that basket went down because uh, if it didn't, the Hawks might have become unglued right there. <laughs> well, not so much them, but the coaches too. Yep. McMillan count the basket. He'll get a chance to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. And he does. Cuts the deficit to eight with two minutes remaining in the first half. Great look to German. Can't convert the follow-up. And Hooper's right there to clean it up. Wow. What a first half by number 12, Hooper, of the Sonics. 31-21. 10-point lead, largest lead of the game for the Sonics. Partially tipped away. Sonics will come away with it. German airs it. Rejected from behind by Borgella. Borgella comes away with it. He looks to go coast to coast. Beautifully oh. done. Highlight reel there. Every once in a while, they'll break that out. German immediately double teamed, and he didn't go anywhere with it. So they'll get a quick jump off. Hawks win the tip. Quickly ahead, McMillan cannot convert. Great second look there. Seems like there's always Sonics players around the basket. Very true. One of the best offensive rebounding teams in the league. Count it. Jean Baptiste. They needed that. That's right. If he converts here, he can cut the deficit to seven. There's only 35 seconds left in this first half. Almost cut the deficit to six, but the Sonics transition. 
and a foul. Thirty-three twenty-five Sonics. Twenty-six seconds left in the first half here. Sonics looking to extend their lead. They do here. It's a nine point lead now. Once again, Hawks get the basket and another chance to convert a three point play. Yeah, Hawks have had a nice little spurt here. That second time in a row by John Baptiste. Who is their leading scorer? That would be him. Yep. Number nine, John Baptiste. He averages about 14.8 a game. Actually, they called it a jump ball there. Yeah. Regardless, here's Morose. Quick look underneath to Jean Baptiste. Count it. And that'll end the first half. And a great run by the Hawks to cut the deficit to five. It's 34 29. We'll be back at the what second a great half. Game. And here I am once again, Jim Foley alongside City Council President Gary Christensen. And Gary, how does it feel to be back? Feels great, and what a great game to come back to. Sonics and Hawks playing very, very well. Well, we look forward to a second half. We'll talk to you coming up shortly. Back for the second half of Hawks-Sonics. Sonics have a 34-29 lead, and they've done pretty well so far in this game. Very entertaining game, Jim, and uh, I've just been impressed with both teams. The one player that I think in the first half really stood out was uh, Hoopa. Hawks get a quick start here. Trying to hustle up early as that's Generazio. And least in travel. So once again, just a reminder, Jim Foley here along with special guest. We get him once a year. Talking about the latest in Malden is City Council President Gary Christensen. And Gary, another another thing that's going on around town is 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 the nursing community. And can you tell us what's yes, the latest with yeah, that? Very very difficult issue. Uh, the McFadden Manor, which is the city-owned nursing home, uh, there's been some speculation about it uh, closing or being passed to uh, an authority to help run it. And so um, we have the friends of the McFadden Manor that's trying to save the nursing home coming before the city council on March 4th. And uh, hopefully we can reach, you know, some kind of sensible solution for everyone involved. But it's been a very difficult issue over the past couple months. Actually, past couple of years, but it's really taken on yeah. um, its own in the past couple of months. I see. Well, meanwhile, Jean-Baptiste, after the great pass from McMillan, will get to the line. Still 34-31 Sonics. I was going to say, Jim, the Sonics have had the chances here to put it away, but Hawks are hanging around. Goes glass, why not? Very evenly matched teams. I wouldn't expect either team to pull away too much without another team making a run of their own. Jim Baptiste just takes it away from O'Brien, and the Hawks will get another offensive possession. Coach Rogers of the Sonics not happy. Hands on hips. Leaston goes glass. Beautiful pass. Heard his hand slap the glass on the shot too. He's definitely got ups. Leaston 
Leaston pass is intercepted by McMillan and he'll transition with the Hawks. Tries to take it all by himself. Couple quick misses and the Sonics take it yeah, back the their way. Given that up, and that's what happens. McMillan, great player, but you're right, does need to learn to distribute a little more. Israel baseline out back to Borgella. He'll try to take it to the basket. No good. And McMillan makes sure that the basket is not converted. And then looks incredulous that he had the call on him. <laughs> Always a sight to see. And the Hawks were able to cut the deficit back down to three, but it's it's back up to six now. As it's 38-32 Sonics. Nine thirty-two Sonics. McMillan three-point attempt is short. Leaston jump shot wow. goes all around and in. Shot put there, Jim. Yeah. Forty-one thirty-two Sonics. Sonics, after stealing the ball away, turn it right back over with the travel. And McMillan's going to have to take a seat to cool himself down as Morose comes in for him. Jump ball. Israel wins the tip, but knocks it to the Sonics. And Leaston, as he likes to do, stop and pop. He can jump. Largest lead of the game is 43 to 32, Sonics, and we'll get a timeout. 11 point lead for this Sonics team, with 420 remaining in the third quarter. Gary, the Hawks came out pretty strong to start the quarter, but ever since then, it's been all Sonics. Well, I think what happened there, Jim, if you look the past couple plays, it got personal between a Hawks player and a Sonics player, and lost focus of the team concept, and there you go. Sonics are ahead by 11. And if you look at both huddles, Sonics very jubilant. I think are starting to feel that they can win this game, and the Hawks just disjointed right now. Millen's heading for the locker room. Run in his mouth. And we'll get you anywhere in this league. Like you said, get your seat in the bench. Generazio from the baseline. O'Brien, what a shot! Beautiful. Could have had it rejected there, but brought his right hand back and just floated it up and in. Here's Israel to the basket, no good. Leaston looking ahead. Pass is nearly tipped away. Goes out of bounds, Hawks ball. Coach 
Coach Rogers from the Sonics bench is telling his players, let's put this away. Baptiste, three attempts. There you go, third time's the charm, huh? That Baptiste won't let him go away. It's back down to nine point lead for the Sonics club. Great skip pass underneath to O'Brien. 47-36, three minutes left in the third quarter. Jean-Baptiste nearly loses it. Israel saves it, but he's blocked. After O'Brien got the block, Sonics transition, but they can't convert. And Hooper picks up the foul. And we haven't seen too much of Hooper this second half. After he had a solid first half, might have gotten a little tired, huh? I think so, too. We'll see if he can start to pick it right back up as his team has a 47-36 lead. But that just proves the strength of the Sonics team. They can get you at every, every play it can contribute. Jean-Baptiste cleans it up off the left side glass. He's having a nice game. Generazio steals it away. Great lead pass to Morose, who cannot finish. That he had the look. Yep. O'Brien, left side glass, no. Israel with the rebound. Generazio this time from the other side of the baseline. Morose traces it down. He'll take it to the basket and O'Brien says, not in my town. This time he picks up the foul as Baptiste will get to the line. That's three on O'Brien. Hits the first of two. Are hanging around. Yep. As Adam comes in for the Sonics and Aurelis comes in for the Hawks. Leaston just snags that rebound. He's had a great rebound again in the second half. There. This time he wants to take it from downtown. <laughs> Does it on the defensive side, and just the very next time around, does it on the offensive side. Shot. It's 50 to 39 Sonics. One minute to play in the third quarter. Borgella from the top of the key. Over to Morose. Rebound Sonics, and he travels. Lindsley Adams. Excuse me, that's 28, LaRoar. Israel, quick jumper. And he tries to get the rebound, but he goes over the top and picks up the foul. That's three on Israel. Hooper loses the dribble and travels. Israel, great look there as there was nobody in his way and by the time he got up they couldn't do anything but foul him. Lindsley Adam picks up his first as Israel goes to the line for two shots. Ball 
Ball on the floor. Still a scrum for it, and Jean-Baptiste comes down with it. And Peterson Orellis count the basket and the foul. Hawks still down 50 to 41 as they'll try to decrease the deficit here with a couple free throw shots. And he converts there. It's 50 42. Sonic still lead. Final 30 ticks of the third quarter. German is fouled. Jean Baptiste picks up his second. Adam, rainbow free throw shot. They'll give him his first attempt again. As apparently, he wasn't ready for it. Whatever was going on, the refs. <laughs> Some confusion there on my part. Anyway, Morose and the Hawks keep doing that. Picking up the foul and the shot, and they're making their way back. They've been famous all game for these three-point plays. Lauror picks up his first. Lo and behold, if they hit this, they're within five. That's right. 50-44, 13 seconds left in the third quarter. He converts. 50-45 now. Final 10 ticks. Hawks got to hurry. It's good if it goes, but it rims out, and that'll end the third quarter. Hawks started the quarter on a high note, then it was the Sonics in the middle of the quarter, and right back it circled around to the Hawks. Jim, we are seeing a fantastic game here. All neighborhood basketball league. 50 to 45, Sonics th with the lead heading into the fourth quarter. I look over at the Fox huddle, still no sign of McMillan. So we don't know if he's left the building. Either way, likely not coming back. He's in the huddle. Oh, okay. But the real question is is he going to see any more playing time? Start the fourth quarter, 50-45 Sonics. Stolen away by Borgella. And it's knocked away by O'Brien. Jean-Baptiste foul. Jean-Baptiste converts the second, makes it a four-point game. Sonics still lead 50-46. Pee Wee carries. Pee 
And with McMillan out, you have Morose running the points again, which we saw all of last weekend. And Israel almost makes it a one possession game. Tell he wanted it there. Noick pass underneath. Logentis loses it out of bounds. It just seems the Hawks have been motivated since McMillan came out. They've really come together as a team here. Israel turn around, jumping from the baseline well, short. Let's see if Hooper can get hot again. He'll pass it over to Legentis. Three-pointer, no good. Borgello with the rebound. Directing the offense. Over to Morose. He calls the play of his own. Quick jump ball call. Whenever they go to the floor with the ball and both teams are going after it, they'll give it a jump ball. Real sluggish start here to the fourth quarter, Jim. Neither team wants to seize control, it seems. Three minutes into this fourth quarter, it's 50 to 46 Sonics. They win the tip. Israel has nowhere to go with it. Should have passed it away, and now he'll have to tip it. The playmaker least in back in for the Sonics. Jean Baptiste on the push off. Fifty forty six Sonics. Six minutes left in the ball game. Hooper needs to go somewhere with it. Puts it up once, puts it up twice. And O'Brien gets a taste of his own medicine. Looks like the refs are just gonna let him play this one out. I thought there was a lot of hits there, but no fouls called. O'Brien, who's had several rejections of his own, that time got blocked by Israel. Hooper tries to clean it up, rims it out, and just hasn't had the luck on his it's side the second half. Here in the second half. Jean Baptiste will get to the free throw line. Wouldn't be surprised here to see Coach Rogers call timeout. This 9 10 point lead is evaporated. They had it up to as much as 11. And McMillan comes back into the game for the first time since the episode. Do you agree with this call? I think so. I think he's uh, learned his lesson. You can tell he's very quiet coming into the game and Slapping hands with his teammate, so I think he knows what's at stake here. Leaston, jumper, extends the lead back to six. Jim, the Sonics needed that basket bad. Very true. Through the hands of Israel, out of bounds. Costly turn over there. Three-pointer, well long. Great lead pass. Legentis can't convert. Hawks will push back.
Bourgeau to Baptiste. Four point game. Timeout, Sonics. Just what I suspected, Jim. Not the Sonics would have called that timeout sooner, but. Well, they'll get it here with 3.30 remaining in the game. Sonics still have a two possession lead. It's 52 48. Remember here, the Hawks have committed 10 fouls. So, and next foul, automatic two shots for the Sonics. At least that's what I'm hearing from underneath. There's eight fouls on the Sonics, which means the Hawks have the one and one. Count the basket. And the men they call Pee Wee will get to the line. So that, that shot didn't count, right? Well, they haven't put it up on the board yet, but it did. So it should be, they gave it to the wrong team. It should be 54-48. They finally just corrected it. So it is a six-point lead for the Sonics as we approach three minutes. Take that eight. Eight points. Basket by Leaston makes it 56-48. Crunch time here for the Hawks. McMillan, his pass is stolen away. Leaston comes up the left side, knocked out of bounds. They'll give it... It'll stay with the Sonics. Oh. Pee Wee three pointer. And the Sonics bench just clapping. That was huge. Extends the lead back to 11 points. They're tying their largest of the game. And here they come again. Fakes behind the back oh, and lays it wow. in. And the Hawks want a timeout. It was a four-point lead before the timeout, and after the last one, it's now a 13-point lead. 61 to 48, 220 remaining in the ballgame. Sonics with the big lead. And it's crazy how much a team can do in a minute and 10 seconds. That's for sure. But we've seen these kind of spurts from the Sonics during the course of the first half. But this is the first real one I've seen in the second half from them. And it's all happened since McMillan has come back into the game for the Hawks. True. You would think the opposite might have happened. Here's McMillan from beyond the three-point line. It's short. Hooper rebounds it. McMillan pulls down the board. Gets it right back. Puts it up no good. And instead of getting back on defense, he just sits back. Leaston to Hooper. No good. Jean-Baptiste. Picks up 
draws the foul. Jean-Baptiste seemingly the only guy keeping his Hawks team in the game. Their leading scorer and showing it again today. Knocks down one of two. 61-49, Sonics lead. Hooper brings it up for the Sonics. Bounce pass stolen away. Lead pass ahead to Jean Baptiste. And Israel knocks it in and out. He's blown a couple important shots here in the second half. I think the Hawks sense it's over as they're. Sending in some subs here. That's Naylor and Norellis. And Naylor, who comes fresh into the game, not really heads up on defense as Pee Wee just takes it right by him for the basket. Isn't there a mercy rule in this league, Jim? Well, I wouldn't exactly call 14 points mercy. True. But they have pulled away. We approach the final 15 ticks, and that should do it. Sonics will just take it across the timeline. Five seconds. And the Sonics win. 63 to 49. They improve to, to 8 and 2, while the Hawks drop to 7 and 4. And Gary, we thought the Hawks were starting to come back in the middle of the third quarter, but the fourth quarter was all Sonics. Yeah, I think what happened was you had that uh, time frame with McMillan kind of not getting with the program. I thought that hurt the Hawks' depth. Well, a tough loss for the Hawks. The Sonics will increase their lead in the standings. They're still in second place. We'll see you next game. Take it easy.